Hi, this is Anthony. In this episode of Battery Experts with Anton Parr, we will discuss how to assess the adhesion of functional layers of finished electrodes by means of scratch testing, as well as the hardness and elastic modulus of these electrodes with nano indentation tests. Let's start with the scratch test. Good adhesion of the electrode coating is indispensable for the production of high capacity batteries with low risk of thermal runaway. The scratch test is an ideal test method for the verification of the adhesion as well as the scratch resistance of the electrode layers and can help improve the deposition process. The adhesion measurement by a scratch test is based on a sharp diamond tip that is sliding across the coated surface with an increasing force. At some force, which we call critical load, the coating will start to delaminate. This critical load is a measure of adhesion. Generally, the higher the critical load, the better the adhesion of the coating or layer to the substrate. It is much better to use scratch measurements platforms equipped with a microscope. This allows optical analysis of the scratch and easy determination of the critical load. In this example, an 85 micrometer thick LFP cathode is being scratched with a special wedge blade diamond tip. The wedge blade is used on the electrode coatings because it generates a sudden delamination of the rather soft coating and the critical load is therefore determined very easily even by a non-experienced user. After placing the sample in the sample holder, the table will automatically rise until it establishes contact with the wedge blade tip. The progressive load scratch will then be done on the electrode coating. After the scratch test is finished, the sample moves automatically to the microscope and the critical load is determined. Once this is done, the software will record a so-called panorama picture of the entire scratch. This panorama image is then superimposed with the graph of the scratch so that data can be interpreted visually while following the corresponding scratch pattern. In this example, we can see the scratch being performed and at what nominal force the complete delamination occurs. The higher the force required for delamination, the better the adhesion of the electrode coating. We will now have a look at the nano indentation testing. Nano indentation measures the hardness, elastic modulus, and creep in small volumes of electrode layers. This technology is used, for example, to characterize the homogeneity of the coating on electrodes or to determine quickly the effects of production changes. The same method can also be used for localized hardness measurements of the coatings as well as for crush of slurry particles used in cathode coatings. While some floor standing surface testing platforms can be equipped with heads that can do both scratch testing as well as nano indentation, it is also possible to use dedicated benchtop nano indenters. Here we will have a look at a benchtop instrument for nano indentation of electrode coating. For this LFP cathode sample, an indentation force of 200 mN is applied, with a loading rate of 1200 mN per minute. The loading rate is the speed at which you reach the maximum indentation force. We will also define the pause time at maximum load where we observe creep of the cathode coating. We have to define the number of indentations as well as the spacing between them, which will be performed automatically without the need of user intervention. The spot marked with a laser beam indicates the location of the first indentation. Once all indentations are completed, we can view the load displacement curve for each indentation or we can compare all of them in a simple statistical visualization. Like in this example, the statistical evaluation allows us to compare different electrode coatings. This can also allow comparison of the mechanical properties of different electrode coatings produced with different parameters and under different conditions. For instance, using nano indentation data will help determine the lowest temperature that can be used for drying the coated slurry during electrode production. So, 
As we saw, surface characterization of coated electrodes, such as with scratch and indentation tests, are a quick and easy way to evaluate the quality of the coating.